Hello and welcome back to episode 4 of Mesopotamia, the land between the two rivers. In this episode, we're gonna cover Mesopotamian tools and items. So here is an overview of what tools we're gonna be covering. So we're gonna be covering cooking utensils, plowing and planting, like things related to these, plowing and planting, pottery and the potter's wheel, arts and craftsmanship, and weaponry. So this is cooking utensils. The Mesopotamians use multiple different cooking utensils. First, they cook using copper and clay. They fast boiled some food in clay pots and simmered other in bronze cauldrons. Some utensils that the Mesopotamians used include single prong forks made of bone, knives made of bronze, iron or other metal, and spoons made of wood, terracotta, bitumen, metal, and sometimes ivory. For example, over here, there's some more Mesopotamian um, cooking utensils. Plowing and planting. Farmers invented the plow to easily till dirt to plant. Before that, they had to use a sharp stick poking holes through the whole farmland, which took a lot of time to do. So they invented the plow and it, it was easier and faster to use than tools like a stick. After that, they even added a funnel with seeds to increase the planting seed. The funnel was used to store seed and funnel out the seed while the farmer and the oxen was using the plow to till the soil. Over here you can see um, a farmer with an earlier um, stick that put holes in the dirt before the farmer had to manually um, put the seeds in, but after that they changed it to here which the farmer is using a plow with his two oxen, which increases um, efficiency and speed. Here's another diagram of farmers using the plow. And lastly, here is a diagram of this type of plow. Pottery and the potter's wheel. Air-dried clay objects such as cups date back to 8,000 BCE. But at 6,000 BCE, Mesopotamians began using stone or earthen uh, ovens to control the fire. That allowed for the development of real pottery. The earliest forms of pottery was usually slab or coil built, which was using clay slabs or clay formed into thin rope to build pots or bowls. These were decorated with designs pressed into or cut out of the clay. Around 3500 BCE, they developed the potter's wheel, which made a uh, lighter weight and better balanced pottery. The potter's wheel is comprised of a platform that holds wet clay and rotates, allowing the potter to shape the clay however he wants to. Potters keep using their wheels turning using their feet. This design is still being used by modern potters. Lastly, no, second last is art and craftsmanship. Mesopotamians are known for their art history and craftsmanship. There are multiple types of artisans, including potters, which was discussed in the previous slide, jewelers who sold fine gemstones, gold and silver with intricate designs, metalsmiths who make all sorts of items, including tools, weapons, and sculptures, carpenters who created chariots for warships to travel on the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers and decorations, and finally, stonemasons who carve large sculptures, carve small details, re small detailed reliefs, and cylinder stones used as seals. And no, I'm not talking about the animal seal, I'm talking about a seal that's placed on a an envelope to seal it shut. Last but not least, weaponry. Bows and arrows were vital to combat and for hunting. At around 2350 BC, the people of Mesopotamia began using the composite bow by gluing 
to gather layers of wood from multiple different trees with, def with different elasticity and strength pr properties using glue from animal bone and sinew. This bow design was so powerful that it persisted for centuries. There were also spears which were thrown. Tips for arrows were originally chipped from stones, but the stone tips were later replaced by bronze and iron. Spears were also tipped with bronze or iron spearheads.